thank you to the EA Creator Network for providing me with the code for the Batroom Clutter Kit. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Cinderella Mouse and today we're looking at the bathroom clutter kit for The Sims 4. I am looking a little bit hot and flustered because I've just reviewed the Sintimates kit and it did funny things to me. So what better way to cool down than stepping it into a nice cool tiled, I was going to say kitchen, bathroom. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a quick look at the blurb here. So let's get rid of my face for a second. And this is what you see when you enter the game after installing the kit. It says, welcome to The Sims 4 bathroom clutter kit, a family room. The kit has something for everybody from cute wall decal de decals for kids to grandma's dentures create a realistic picture of a family by adding little touches for all ages i'm sorry about the banging in the background it's my kids bed bedtime um personalized personal space transform your kids sims bathroom into an elegant retreat where they can escape life's mayhem or let that mayhem spill over to this space as well with this kit you can create spaces that reflect the personalities of a variety of sims so we can check this out okay so i haven't created a family from this pack i have created uh two sims they're a couple and i've gone for like a bit of an odd couple style because when i got a glimpse of this kit um there was like neat towels and then like messy towels so I've revived an old family it's the Muckley family they're probably on my gallery somewhere already um, and I've given them a little bit of a, a twist um, I've updated them a little bit kind of updated the clothes and kind of like updated the personalities and tweaked them a little bit as well so they are married um, Audrey Muckley and Felix Muckley Felix is like the perfect name as well because if you know the film the odd Co couple is Oscar and Felix so that was a coincidence but it was a happy coincidence now I've gone for the um, aspirations from the bust the dust, dust kit um, I've gone for the perfectly pristine for Felix he's also a green fiend he's neat and he's uh, romantic so uh, he likes to get a little bit down and dirty in the bedroom but everywhere else he likes to keep it neat and uh, Audrey is a uh, fabulously filthy same girl not filthy rich literally filthy can relate and uh, yeah she's she's going for those eco-friendly um, eco lifestyle features a freegan slob and cheerful so we have this contrast between Audrey who's really really messy she doesn't care about her surroundings she doesn't care about a little bit of muck a little bit of filth a few crumpled towels life is about more than making the towels straight and uh, Felix is he's like no a clean environment is a healthy environment if you have a nice healthy environment it helps you accomplish things and get things done so they have a different approach to life uh, so if we kind of like jump into their home Again, this is an old house that I was making around the time of like eco lifestyle and I don't think I ever uploaded it. I don't think I ever completed it. It was taking me such a long time. Um, but I thought it was like the perfect little house to kind of like check out this new kit with. So just giving you a bit of an overview, I'm probably going to just tweak it a little bit and put it up on the gallery. If you want to do the like finishing touches yourself, you can absolutely do that. But I thought it was a really cool lot and I was really enjoying building it. The idea of it was that it was going to be like, um, like workshop space or like retail space on the bottom floors um, and I was kind of using specific kits so I think it uses a city living, uh, the industrial kit, um, uh, eco lifestyle and Moschino so I only used four packs for it to keep it tight so that more people could download it without things being missing from it so those four packs add the bathroom cl clutter kit and I'll upload it so yeah we've got like workshop space on the bottom floors here um, kind of like a dance studio if you want to do that candle making all the kind of good eco lifestyle features um, a little bit of a woodworking station and barbecue area out the back here we've got wind turbines because we want it to be a nice eco-friendly lot um, the I actually really really love how this build took turned out it was one of those builds that was taking me a long time but I was kind of loving doing it I really like the industrial style uh, so when we got the industrial lo loft kit I was like really really enjoying making this but I never finished it so here's one of the bathrooms that we're going to be making over today and just to kind of show you the other floors you've got this kind of like gardening space up here this little room that doesn't really have anything in it but you could totally put like the flower arranging station in there if you wanted to again I was trying to keep it tight to those specific packs so that's an option uh, this really nice bedroom again absolutely love that industrial industri why can't I speak industrial loft style those eggplant 
like pajamas like that eggplant underwear has done something funny to me <laughs> from the sentiments kit uh, so yeah they like i just think it's a really really cool space so no kids just young adults uh but we've got a couple of bathrooms to decorate so let's go down i feel like this is probably gonna be I mean, it's quite a small bathroom, but I don't know. Let's go and have a look at what's in the kit. <laughs> Maybe I don't have enough space to actually do it in this lot. I don't know. <laughs> this was an afterthought. I spent a lot of time working on those Sims for the Sintimates kit, and I was like, this house will do <laughs> like, for this one. Um, let's, objects by function. Yes, let me do that. Oh, it's all here. The gang's all here. Let's filter the kits anyway. Even though I can't filter specifically for this kit, at least it's at least it's like all here so let's just have a look at what is in this pack like one at a time so if i can get an empty wall space so this is obviously designed for like if you've got kids and you want to make like a kids bathroom or you just want to kind of make your own bathroom kind of like bright and cheerful uh this is like a bunch of decals that one matches some of the pool decals i can't remember which pack it was from but it's like the decals that you put on the on the floor so that is quite cute you could have like a turtle themed bathroom um using those decals as well uh, little sharks fish uh unicorn is that a void critter i feel like that's a void critter somebody correct me if i'm wrong um yeah so really cute stuff good for like aquariums if you want to build an aquarium and you wanted to decorate it and like take kids there on a school field trip all that kind of good stuff uh, the cat in the bath is extremely cute she needs one <laughs> actually i had a bath this morning <laughs> and i brushed my teeth today guys i'm not that dirty little face mask that's really cute so that's cute for like a cat themed spa i don't know maybe you want a spa that's also a cat hangout like you know like a cat cafe but it's a cat spa there you go that's that's an idea for you uh so dearly departed tooth lacquer there comes a time in life when one questions the object's worth excuse me a second hold on wait <laughs> kids kids at bedtime um okay so uh where were we um will this poor tube be forgotten on the counter pushed aside into the garbage or lovingly cared for until the bitter end um okay i like this i like this feature so you get like this like screwed up one it's a shame we don't have like slots on the side of the sink really i guess you could like cheat uh what is it bb <laughs> why have i forgotten this move why did I put a space? I didn't. <laughs> move objects. Oh, I'm distracted. Um, move objects on. And then you could like... Sorry, that's my, my chair creaking, if you can hear that. And then you could use like the... Like these cheeks. Oh, it's in the toilet. Oh, no. The toddlers put... The infants put the toothpaste in the toilet. No. <laughs> um, like this. You could do something like that, I guess. It kind of looks like... Oh, it kind of looks like glue as well. In like crazy glue is floating <laughs> maybe that won't work but if you find a surface that's like the same size that could potentially work kind of it's not really working is it okay maybe not maybe not <laughs> um and then you get like this other one here llama fairies tooth lacquer fight bad breath and start your day off fresh with llama fairies tooth lacquer 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 <laughs> now with a brand new formula proven to both brighten teeth and fight cavities it's the same reliable brand your grandparents use but with all the benefits and modern science i like that that sounds like it didn't used to be proven <laughs> but now it's proven uh funny um let's go down to the bigger bathroom i kind of feel like i need more surfaces to kind of put this on let's put it on the, let's put it in the kitchen when you buy your toothpaste you put it in the kitchen first right i don't know um then there's this it's it's soap it's a big lump of soap it's got the cleaning potential i can't imagine a more beautiful thing Woo. um <laughs> it's so a big box oh my god i got it i didn't even read the description and i knew what they were memeing if you don't want to know what this meme is google it's corn and it's wholesome and it's adorable and it's very very sweet but it's it's a little boy who loves corn and uh they made a song out of it and it's it's corn it's a big lump with knobs it's got the juice it's got the juice i can't imagine i love it love it sims team i love that sims team have the same sense of humor as me um your llama jokes are not getting old i still love you uh right okay cool yeah they're pretty cute i'm not sure what it's resting on I don't know uh the lone paper here it is boys and girls this is what we've been waiting for this is what we've been begging the sims team for on our hands and knees and finally the gurus have listened and we've got a single 
toilet roll. It's like, it's such a simple thing, but it brings Simmers so much joy. It's like, let us do what we want with the toilet roll. Let us put toilet roll. Like if you're in a bit of a dive, like I'm, like my house, this is literally what my house is like. I haven't got a toilet roll holder. So it just kind of goes on the back of the toilet or like on the floor or on the radiator. <laughs> like, listen, my bathroom, my bathroom needs like a full new bathroom. It's a problem. Uh, but yeah, if you've got like, oops, I went out of the game. If you've got like a dive, like my house, you can just like stink, stink. You can stink and then you can stick. <laughs> what, they, what they missed out on here, what they should have done is they should have made it stackable. So you could like have stacks of, uh, you could stack your toilet roll high. Like that's a shame that they didn't make it stackable, like missed opportunity. But uh, yeah, I like that. And like I say, you could probably like, again, if you're very, very clever with move objects on, you could probably like <laughs> stick it down the toilet. Again, if you're telling stories, like if you do like screenshot stories, you could totally have like the toilet roll down the toilet, especially with the tool mod, like turn it on its side and put it down the toilet. Like and say that your infants have like, been messing with the toilet like that is cute storytelling uh but yeah like like that but like that is what we want this is all we've wanted sims team i feel like we need like like slots on the sides of the sinks and the toilet now uh that is brilliant um yeah happy with that and is it like a really small like what is the footprint on this thing hang on let me we need to test this out have i got a shelf somewhere i need one of those like tiny tiny shelves Hang on, let's go uh, base game for a second. And let's go to surfaces and get like this shelf. This is the practice shelf. This will tell us all the kit's dirty details, all the kit secrets. Um, go show all and where's the toilet roll? Show me the toilet roll. I've lost it. There's too many kits. Oh my goodness, kit team. You need to do something about this because it's, it's obnoxious. There it is. Uh, yes, it's got a tiny footprint. Love to see it. And then let's have a look. I'm so excited about toilet roll. It's like such a simple thing, but it's like, that is like gorgeous. I love that you have the quilt adoption. Oh my God, like the scrotty option with like the end ripped off. Like Sims team, you've thought of everything. You know what I need and you're delivering and I'm here for it. And um, what else as well? Like, yeah, okay. like I don't know why there's like a poo brown one. Is that like school to toilet roll from the 80s? Do you remember it's like tracing paper? <laughs> like the toilet roll that you get in schools? Gross. Um, I love the clutter kits. Like the clutter kits, like these glasses, like... I am all for clutter. Like, this is what kits were made for. Like, don't be giving me fountains in a kit. Give me toilet roll. Like, that's the energy. <laughs> um, let's see what else we get. So we get the dentures. Again, something that people were really excited for. Stick it on the side of your sink. If, obviously, this was a bathroom. What is that? What even is that inside there? Oh, it's like a shield. Is it like braces or something? Okay. So you can have like braces for your teenager or like false teeth for your grandparents. It'd be cool if they had like an eye in there and like weird things as well. I think they could have gone with a couple more options. Uh, cool, and it's like a small footprint as well. I am I am into kits at the moment. Uh, so like a little hairbrush and a comb, cute. I feel like they could have picked nicer colors. Like where's the pink? Where's the pink? Um, yeah, not impressed with the colour options on that one, really. I guess it's meant for guys, but I use a comb in my hair. You're actually meant to comb your hair and not brush your hair when it's wet, so, yeah. Single used lotion. The best lotions are the ones that you don't even need to think about. That's why we created single used lotion. Just rub it on. It rubs the lotion on its skin and less into, or else it gets the, the hose again, that's it. It rubs the lotion on its skin unless it gets the hose again. I wondered why I was channeling that. Sometimes I channel stuff and sometimes I channel like, I'm a little bit psychic, but I'm not like useful psychic. I'm like, oh, that's the, the answer to Wordle psychic. Like literally, like I opened Wordle and I heard the word. <laughs> Sorry, this is going off to crazy Cinderella land. Just put up with me for a second. I opened Wordle yesterday and like no spoilers because it's already like the next day. But I heard the word, um, like what was it? The word was shard, right? C-H-R-D. And I didn't, I didn't hear it. So I, I, it was like shard, S-H-R-D, like a different shard. It sounded just like shard, but it was a more familiar word to me. So I put it in. And then I was like, no, it's shard. Like I literally, like my spirit guides gave me the, the word all answer. So I channel like daft things that don't 
matter and like don't make any sense and uh yeah i was channeling like it puts the lotion on its skin until it gets the hose again the other day and i think it was just this to be honest um and you could go no greasy you have to feel no worries about whether or not your kids will get it on their clothes and it smells like a dream it's the perfect lotion for people who don't like lotions uh okay like stop calling it lotion it's giving me buffalo black bill vibes and i'm not here for it um let's go up here and uh you know where you put the lotion especially in a teenage boys room right yeah you put the lotion on the you put the lotion on the sideboard and then you get the toilet roll bug roll there you go proper boys room <laughs> i love it it's so funny to me okay you know why you know why you know why don't pretend you don't know why um and well so toothbrushes old faithful i will read all of the ob object descriptions at some point but uh not right now <laughs> like i like that one i like the black um glowy juice skincare essentials every skincare influencer has been talking about glowy juice natural three-step collection guaranteed to not only deliver the glossiest skin ever recorded in the history of sim kind i need that i mean i was very glossy after reviewing the symptoms kit <laughs> like it, but that was just sweat guys um <laughs> it was the eggplants um okay you are trendier and more moist than them very nice very nice oh i like these these would be nice if you had like a little shop you know like a little like perfumery or something like that like they're cute i like those i like it a lot these little things as well like more lotions i will read all the descriptions at some point what is this salt bath fragrance jar if your bath contains just water, you are missing out on a whole new world of bathing luxury. This bath fragrance, these bath fragrances are the perfect way to enjoy a spa experience at home, relax and unwind after a stressful day. This jar has many scents to choose from and come in a variety of colors to match your mood or decor. Uh, okay, so it's like bath salts. I like these, I like jars. You can even have these in like, I don't know, like, like a, they, that'd be good like in a doctor's surgery or a vet surgery it'd be good clutter for that like you could almost even get away with like pretending the sweets if you had like a sweet shop you know um but i like jars and i like you know this this slot onto the small footprint so these like lined up on a shelf in a store everything for me is like can i sell it in a retail store and i look like i can so yay excited for that like that that is very pleasing to me. Like, this is the kind of clutter I need, Sims team. Like, it's clutter that I can line up and sell it on in a shop. That's that's my clutter vibe. Um, so there's more toothbrushes. These, these are kind of, like, a bit more trendy. Uh, like a Sonic toothbrush. A Sonic screwdriver, you might ask. I don't know. Um, a re Resolute hand soap. Again, hand soap, such a handy thing. Should have got this during COVID. Like, everybody needs hand soap. Like, that's nice as well. I like the colouring of that one. I like the colouring of that one. I like the kind of classy colours that they've got. Like, it, it looks kind of upmarket. And again, that's probably a small footprint. I feel like I don't even have to check. All, hang on, I need to move my microphone. AI looks electric razor. Okay, facial mapping system on that one, cool. This is another good one, a plunger. I would have liked a more simplified plunger, I think. This is kind of like a fancy double-decker plunger uh, for the big jobs. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, if that actually goes really nicely with the color scheme. Like that's, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I don't know if you need it on display necessarily, but it is. Um, there's like a bit of a bathroom tray here with like the all the items combined, which again is quite a nice touch to have like a combo one if you don't want to place everything individually and it kind of like has that nice group effect. But I do tend to like things as individual objects, like separated objects rather than the grouped objects, just in general. Uh, Sim Spa Towel Set, again, like just something that I feel was really, really needed. Like just a stack of towels like this looks great in a kitchen as well like that look that could be tea towels right um like that is really nice like you could have that in your like that is lovely it does look like a stack of tea towels so that's great and then i feel like you can size it up as well so let me just it'd be nicer i think without the soap i think the soap limits its use like you could have it in retail and stuff if it didn't have the soap on but like yeah like even sizing it up like that is going to be 
like that's a nice size that's a really nice size for like sizing up and down so well thought out sims tape uh, a hairdryer cute again great accessory if you're doing like um say like get to work um not get to work sorry get famous where you do like the hairstylist and you have like the hairstylist chair you could have like a hair salon and have that there a beauty salon really nice i saw um, English simmer Molly freaking out about this like carpets in carpets and rugs in bathrooms is a very very like British thing it's like a weirdly British thing to do this and I kind of I kind of like it I kind of like it it's kind of gross but like gross in a good way you know the idea being that like the idea of it is that um you keep your feet warm right you keep your feet warm and if little bits of water splash on your tile floor, you don't slip on it or you have a carpet. Again, if you look at like kind of like the the 40s, the like rugs and carpets in a bathroom was like the height of luxury. Uh, so uh, that's that's kind of what's happening there with that. Hang on, that needs to go that way. They're really nice though. I really, really like them, especially this like small one. Like that's great just as a doormat, it's great in front of your shower. That's a really nice little rug. And yeah, I like it. You'd, I think you probably want to put it around your sink rather than your toilet, but like, that, I don't know, it just doesn't fit that style of sink. Uh, what does this actually say? Would you like to enjoy the moment when taking a break in your bathroom? Do you have cold feet? Not with this mat, made of soft cotton. This mat has a plush, warm and comfortable designs to keep you comfortable while on the toilet. Like, love it. This is another one that I have seen simmers online on Twitter going crazy for. Light switches. Like, yes, it's such a nice detail. I love stuff like this. Like, this is just the kind of stuff that you normally get from CC, but it's like, it just, it's such a normal, like, kind of object that you would see and you would see it everywhere. And I just think it's like, I was super excited for this. I was like, it's such, such a nice little touch to like, I don't know, it just makes the room look so much more real and like lived in. Like, I love that. Like, that is like an instant favorite item. Like, I love it. I do think it could have come in more colors. Uh, because what you see a lot of the time now is like people will paint the, the light switch to kind of like be the same color as the wall. So I think it would have been nice to get like a full range of kind of like muted colors, like similar colors to like what they've been using on like these items here. Because I think if they'd have done like the muted colors, you could have put it on more variety of walls rather than having it like stand out. Uh, just a little thing there but then you've got this like dimmer switch as well again it's like it only comes in the two colors and um, this like gross brown color as well like mine was literally my my socket on my wall there I don't know if you can see it it's a really really old socket it's like from the 70s or something I don't know possibly earlier it's really old um, so it's it's kind of got that kind of like yellowing plastic look to it it's kind of gross so I did paint it the other day but not very successfully so same energy <laughs> and then we have the toilet paper roll no sim can live without this everyday necessity place this item in your bathroom and rest assured that no sim will ever find themselves lacking even if it's placed the wrong way so the great toilet paper debate which way round do you do it i do it this way round. this is the proper way to me like having it kind of like like and where am i going to put that it's like a window there but having it kind of like stuck out i'm gonna have to put it in the other bathroom aren't i <laughs> like having it like that way around is the right way to me like that is that is the only way to have it like that that's right and then if you're feeling fancy like fold the end into a point if you've got guests or something uh lots of different colors on this really like it so that you've got like the gold and the woods as well it would have been nice to get gold and woods i think but they're all just like variations of metal and then you have it like flipped around the other way so yeah some people like to have it like facing the wall i think that's a fact you could like especially if it's on a brick wall you could like graze your fingers on the wall like don't be rude like put it the right way around let's put it the right way around i like the kind of like I hate that cheese gold but I'm glad they've got like the kind of like bronzy metals because I really that's my favorite color of 
<laughs> that's my favorite color of metal in the game again it's all in the details guys so i think that's oh no we've got some more things so these as well really 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 cute i spotted these on twitter um so these like little i think kirsten grew ash who has been an absolute queen working on the kit so if you don't know sim guru ash she was originally a simmer she was originally a creator i think uh, she was mainly on twitch if i remember correctly um and she actually she actually moved to the sims team she actually works for the sims now and she's she's like if you look at her her Twitter, she knows what Simmers want. She knows that we want single items that we can place ourselves with the smallest footprints and like the clutter items. She is on it. So like like praise Simguru Ash. Like she's doing a bang up job. Um, but yeah, we've got these kind of like little boxes, which like very very cute could be used for a lot of things again it looks slightly medical i reckon you could put it in a vet surgery or like a doctor's as well and then you've got like the messy one which this is so perfect for like a teenage girl's room like like that's not really nice coloring that one as well like the color combinations are really nice on these yeah good beautiful these are what i was excited for this is why i had like the odd couple thing going because you've got like the neat towel so great for storytelling for, the, for those of you who do storytelling with screenshots um it's a nice size as well it's like that is like a big towel rail like that is like a decent size and you could size it down as well like if you want this like above your kitchen sink or like next to your kitchen sink just size it down if you don't know how to do this it's move our objects on and then the brackets keys and you can just like size things down and like that is like hand towels right for your kitchen sink like this like this pack is great i love the size of everything i love the footprints on everything and yeah i love like that attention to detail of being like before you get in the bath you know if you're doing like storytelling with screenshots before you get in the bath and then after you've had the bath or like the kids room versus the parents room uh really really like that and um, that's really nice coloring and again it really i might just size it down one that really suits the coloring of this bathroom i love that that's really nice um and again i kind of feel like i needed a new towel rail as well what i would love to see for bathrooms is like a heated towel rail that works like as a radiator if you've got seasons but also yeah so basically it would function like a radiator if you've got seasons um a bit like you know that like the vampire radiator um but like a heated towel rack so it like works as a radiator but it looks like a towel rack like that they're so nice for modern bathrooms i think that'd be a really cool thing to have i'm getting close to something that i've wanted in the game for the longest time so we've got like not this like shower time caddy cute love to see it she's 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 a look this the sensible sim scented candle let's just have a look at this one other item first so bl blissful nightlight nobody likes feeling afraid of the dark so it's an, an actual nightlight so um if you are if you have children and they're getting the monster under the bed at night if you place a nightlight um the monster will stop coming uh it prevents the monster from occurring so this is really good because we've got like another option for nightlights now nobody likes feeling afraid of the dark that's why i think i assume it works like that that's why the blissful nightlight is a must-have for kids and adults alike this plugin provides a soft glow that keeps you safe reduces your energy cost and makes it easy to see no more stumbling in the dark in the middle of the night in the middle of the night i go stumbling in my sleep let's put this on the shelf here like will it go on the shelf oh no it attaches to a wall that's what's happening and it's like a nice modern look as well like because you don't always necessarily like some kids have like fancy bedrooms not every kid necessarily wants like a massive void critter or whatever it is in their room um so that's really nice to have like a more like for example if you if you had like a kid and they were staying at their grandma's house for a while like the grandma's house might have a bit more of that kind of style to it like rather than having like the void critter style it's like if the kids were staying in like the best guest bedroom or like i don't know if one day we got hotels you know you might want something that fits with the vibe of the hotel rather than like a big kind of like childish looking thing so i like that we've got another option there so this though this sensible scented candle i have wanted this for the longest time and what made me want it even more was if i can find what i'm thinking of was it tiny living or nifty knitting there's a photo there's a picture which try and find it this this picture which i love this picture so much anyway um 
like I love the frame it's, again it's a really nice size and you can size it up and down this candle guys this candle right here it has been teasing me not only that I think we got like a cluster object at some point like a light let me just have a look uh like was it this one yeah do you see this like nifty knitting and tiny living have been teasing me with these candles for the longest time and i've wanted them and i i've been saying like every time i see these i'm like i want a candle like that like a simple candle and like it can go in the center of a table like I've wanted this for the longest time. I'm so, so happy to get this. Like, you don't understand with like a small footprint as well. Does it have like a small footprint? Can I put it on those shelves? Let me just test. Let me just test before I get too excited. Yes. Like, thank you, Sims Team. Like, that, again, it's like the happiness you can get from small things. Like, it makes a di big difference. And this is why it's so important for the Sims team to pay attention to detail and to like really consider everything, everything that they're making to really think it through and not just be like, oh, a vase, that'll be nice. When, or like, oh, let's add a, a new chair to that pack when we've got like so many chairs, you know, or like, let's add a new treadmill when we've only got one kid's science table or two now, I think. So it's like actually put in a little bit more thought, a little bit more consideration and like pay attention to the details. And like the, you know, like the little things that Simmers are asking for, like toilet paper, like toothbrushes, you know, it's cause it's like the small things really do bring a lot of joy. And to get things right, it's, it just, it really does like make a difference between the pack being kind of okay or being like really good. So so I'm happy for this. I would have liked a bit more of a range of color. I feel like that's a little bit that's a little bit sad for me that they didn't kind of like add like a full color range because if we just compare it to kind of like yeah, that's not got many either. Like that, right? That has what 9 12 12 color palettes. And I think I would have liked like 12 color palettes for this as well. Cause again, like if we just look at this quickly, I know that it's kind of like clipping, but like if you look at the candle colors like that has a really big range of candle colors. So very, very excited to have this. Very thankful that we finally got it. Cause again, it's something that I've been kind of like hoping for. Um, but uh, disappointed that it's like limited in colors. Like a red one would have been great for like a romantic restaurant, but I will use this all the time. Like this, it will be one of those items that I just put everywhere. And it is a lamp as well. It works like a lamp. Like you can't have too many candles guys and what you could also do as well is like clutter it and like have one size down you know like maybe not sized up but you could like clutter it like that and that's like really cute you know maybe like have like three and have them all different colors i don't i don't really like the patterned ones like that you know like that's cute that is cute i love them again sad they've not got more colors but not looking to give to us in the mouth happy to have it could go for more could honestly just go for more um and is it centered as well does it actually what is better than a small flame creating a relaxing and warm atmosphere this candle has a clean modern look to it perfect for any home light up and relax with gentle fragrance of essential that guys of essential oils made from naturally derived materials it's uh like going to a spa with no appointments does this function like incense? No, it doesn't. Oh, they could have done that. Again, that would have been a really good extra touch. Do you know what I mean, guys? Do you know what I'm talking about here? If they doubled up, if you had a candle that doubled up like and worked like the incense, let me just show you what I mean. So I think they came with spa day. So it's not a base game item, but like it's such a small detail. They could totally patch this to the base game. Um, where are they? I think it's under activities and skills. Where are, where are they? Where would it be? Maybe decorations? I know there is someone. This here, this, this thing here, right? If the candles function like this, that would have been such a extra touch. Again, not looking at a gift house in the mouth, very happy to have them. But if you could light a candle and have it, so if it functioned like this, but also like a candle, like if it had the double functionality and you could like make it have evocative lemon or whatever it is, and then go here, like it actually like gives the sim buffs. 
like it, it like it changes the mood and stuff so that would be really cool to have like actual scented candles so that's the next mission like sims team to level up that candle game make it do that that would be so good like look because she gets this clean clean scent lemony fresh scents in the air it cleanses Closes it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so that would be really cool if it functioned like that. I mean, I could always maybe size that down and get the same effect. Like, you could kind of, like, proper size it down like that and then put it in the same slot, maybe. Could I? Can I do that? Hang on, this is going to take some trial and error. This is going to take some... This is going to take some faffing, boys and girls. Like, this and then... Oh, can you do what I'm telling you to do, please? Like, go... Go there... And then go, I might have to size it down one more. Go there, did that work? And then put the table back, sort of. Right, imagine it's better placed. Imagine I spent time doing that. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that, it kind of works. It kind of works. You'd have to like play around to get it centered, but that kind of works like a scent of the candle I didn't pick the best color though did I Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay that is that's that's the kit yeah I like it I like it um yeah I would probably buy that like obviously I got given the kit from that's <laughs> Father Winter Father Winter hi Hi, big friends with Father Winter. Father Winter, thank you. I know that you work for the Sims team and I know that you listen to us when we write you our Christmas lists and we say, please can we have toilet roll and for single candles and like whatever, like toothbrushes and like more towels. Like I know Father Christmas, I don't know if you all know this, but Father Winter actually works for the Sims team. And he sits there in the office and he writes the list of everything that we're wishing for. And he goes to the gurus and he says, look, elves, go and work on this list like it's true facts guys like you can't argue with the truth uh like he's here evidencing yes, that, like cool. it just proves it it just proves my theory <laughs> <No>. right <laughs> I, I like the kit i probably would buy it um because i'd want that toilet i'd want the toilet roll i'd want the candle and what else as well that did i really love like there's some really good stuff in it um, i like all the i like these things like the yeah just clutter i think this is like where kits are strong like the clutter kits and like when they have a really specific focus as well like i've just come from the sentiments kit and so like a, a kit that's just underwear it's like perfect that's what i want i wanted more underwear yes give it to me so i'd love to see like kits on uh jewelry i've got a twitter thread there talking about like how i just love a kit that's just more jewelry for my sims a makeup kit you know um and a swimwear kit a um a winter accessory kit there's so many like specialized kits that they could do that i think would be really really cool and i would like snap up uh, and i know kits aren't for everybody and i know people see it as like a money making thing but you don't have to buy them if you're not interested in getting toilet roll and hair dryers and you're like i'll never use that stuff i can't be bothered with clutter don't buy the kit you don't have to buy everything but if you love clutter and you're into it same girl <laughs> uh so yeah like I, more clutter kits i really would love like some really strong kits for me have been like the plant kit you know the, it was just like loads of plants especially especially like just going looking back at that plant kit for a second um let's just filter for kits there's a couple of plants in that kit that i use constantly and i am so happy to have so like these small ones where's the smallest one there's one that's like diddy this one here it's got a really small footprint it's got so many color swatches like like these ones like the white and the, like i love them i use them all the time and it's like such a small little thing like in the olden days of the sims like talking years and years ago like three years ago in the sims 4 like if you got that it would probably be attached to like that right you probably wouldn't get that on its own it'd probably be like attached to something like that and you'd look at it and you think that'd be such a cute little plant but it's attached to like a big massive object so like i love that the sims team have moved in a direction where they're having these like single items more and like this one as well like just pr singing the praises of some of the kits right now like this is kind of what i would like more of so again this is great sizes down really nicely sizes up really nicely it's got a small footprint i could probably stick it i could probably stick it there yeah there you go like this one as well like i like i oh it's not got the smallest footprint but it's got like the middle size footprint 
just really just really nice really nice simple plants i'm like yes give it to me and then really good color swatches like that's what i need i don't necessarily need like big massive things like this it's a handy item i do sometimes use it i like it but like just like do you know what i mean like give me the cute stuff give me the small stuff especially the, the stuff that like fits on the tiny shelves like ah joy it brings me so much joy so uh, that's a brilliant kit and then like the actual clutter kit as well like with the baseball hat cap and the sunglasses and like the pens one thing again i love because it's again it's like the small items and you just think i am so happy it's like such a small thing but it brings me so much joy so like again just to kind of like remind you if you fell asleep for a second there i'm looking at other kits now not just the um just the bathroom kit i'm kind of talking about kits in general uh this cup like I, I am obsessed with this cup. I keep using it everywhere. Like especially like the slightly dirty one. So I love using this and like putting it kind of like where Sims have been chatting. So like here, you know, it's like it's just such a sweet little clutter item. And then like you know places like this i love to like have the cups lying around especially if you have got like a bit of a messy sim like and you really want to kind of like give them that messy environment whether you've got a messy sim or you just want to make a place look lived in and homely like they're just really good items this again like the glasses they've got a tiny slot on them and you can just like put them on like the bedside table it's like your sim's been reading at night and you put the black like i love it like more of this the single cushion i would love some cushions but like on an angle and i could use like the these tools to kind of like place them where i want them you know like you could put them if you had it if they had a cushion like this but it was like you could place it every, like in loads of different places and it was like leaning against a wall like if it was propped up you could just like use it and like put it and place it yourself on like cushions and things like that right you could like totally like i'm not doing it well right now because obviously it's like <laughs> it's a big cushion but you know what i mean if you had like a little slanted cushion you could like deck you could do so much with it so yeah sims team like i feel like they're listening i feel like the getting the idea of like the kind of stuff that people are, are wanting and that will pay for and uh yeah i think more of this kind of stuff is just really it just it makes a place go from feeling empty to feeling like it's a place that's used and it's a place that's lived in and like it's just like details like that are so good so yeah i'm all for kits i like kits um what's the other thing as well like the little flask i love the little flask it's so good on like a little desk you know like wherever your sim's been working like to put this little flask i don't think i've got a desk i don't have a desk but if i did have a desk you know, like put it where your sims have been working put it where your sims have been working out like it's just it's like I'm, I'm all for it. So I know that kits are controversial. I know that some people don't like them. They see them as a bit of a money grab, but you don't have to buy them, right? And some people like me, like, like i love it i love the clutter and you have to remember as well like yes we get a lot of this kind of stuff from cc not everybody can use cc you know if you play it on a on a console on an xbox or a playstation like you can't you can't download and install mods in cc and not everybody wants to because if you're like me and you do like building and sharing things to the gallery um you you get reliant upon cc i do have a little bit in my game you will see a little bit kind of like knocking around but what happens is like you'll have an item like this cup and it's cc and you'll use it in your own builds all the time and then you are building for the gallery and you think oh i wish i could use that cup like but you don't want it because it's cc right and so you like it gets frustrating so you do like again i've got like little tiny candles if i just kind of like go back out so i just waffle like this is why my videos are so long so this candle here by kiwi kiwi sims right um which i've had in my game for so long like just a little candle like this as well is so good but like a little candle that i can stick in the middle of a, a table like in a restaurant right it's like somewhere where my, where my sins want to go and have like a romantic chat around a table like that that candle has been a godsend but i got reliant upon it right and i was like frustrated that all the lights that we have in the game are like like overly fussy right or like you get candles but they're in like a group i'm like just give me a single candle and now they have and now i'm happy so thank you sims team and father winter for making me happy i appreciate your faces uh more of that please and again it's not just me it's not like i'm the one going i want a candle it's like lots of people are all saying the same thing it's like i want a cup 
I want a candle, I want a notepad, like these things that we just think, oh, it'd be such a handy item to have. And finally, the Sims team, again, because I think that they're recruiting Simmers, right? I think a couple of Simmers have kind of joined the team. Um, like we could, we know Ash and like Holly did Sparked. Like it's 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 good because I don't know people like Simguru Lindsay. You know she she's she plays the Sims. Like a lot of the the producers, Simguru Sarah as well, Popcorn. Like they were Simmers first. They loved the game first and they play the game and like they know what Simmers want and like I, it, you know when you get. You know, it shows, it shows, it shows, I think, whether the people working on the pack play the game or not, like, because they know what people want, and yeah, so shout out, the, shout out the Simmers on the Sims team, like, you're doing a bang up job, <laughs> bang tidy, right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stop kind of, like, fangirling <laughs> at the Sims. This could have gone very differently. You could have got a really, really snarky review. I'm telling you now, but it didn't. I'm impressed. I, I enjoyed everything, and that's my genuine, honest reaction. And you can probably see as well when I reviewed the um, Symptomates um, pack, I went into it thinking, I'm not sure about this pack. And then I was like, wow, I actually really pleasantly surprised. So uh, there you go. That's me done. <laughs> gonna go and kiss my kids good night and uh yeah take care of yourselves i hope you've enjoyed whatever this was <laughs> i'll see you again soon bye